Hey, what is up guys? This is Mo and today I've got a super exciting keyboard to show you guys. This is the Asus ROG Falcon wireless gaming keyboard. I think this keyboard checks off every single box to make it one of the best keyboards on the market this year and a true jack of all trades. I'll be taking you through everything from the unboxing, performance and design. So stick around till the end if you're interested in getting yourself one of these keyboards. Now ROG has done a really nice job in giving us a satisfying and high-end unboxing. The keyboard is hidden away inside this soft black bag. Once uncovered, the Falcon sits well protected in its polycarbonate cover, which we will come back to later. Other than that, they include a braided USB-C cable for charging and wired use, as well as an extension adapter if you want your dongle to sit as close as possible to your keyboard. The build quality on the Falcon I'd consider to be above average. It will definitely hold up to heavy usage, the top plate is aluminum and the bottom is completely plastic, but it's not by any means a cheap plastic, it does feel really nice. The Falcon is also designed to be a mid-height keyboard and the kickstand only offers one angle of adjustment, so this is not the most adjustable keyboard, but I think the height it's set at is comfortable for typing. Now taking a look at the Falcon here, it's definitely very minimalistic and very sleek. I really like how it looks on my desk. It comes in black with a dark gray aluminum top plate, now the dark gray really resembles Apple's space gray. The Falcon is a 65% keyboard, which to me is the perfect keyboard size. I still get the dedicated arrow keys and the delete key, which are super important for me in both my work and while video editing. By the way guys, if you want to find your way back to more of my content, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. This is the best way to keep up with the uploads as well as support the channel's growth. Now let's get back to the review. All right, so let's talk features. First of all, the Falcon is fully wireless over 2.4 GHz, which is much faster than a Bluetooth connection and is excellent for gaming. Over here on the left side is the Falcon's first showpiece. This is a touch bar and it is so awesome. You can use it to control volume, media playback, or anything you program it to inside the ROG software, which I'll show you a bit later. And I bet you would have noticed another bar right at the top of the keyboard. This is a battery indicator. With this, you can always see the battery level, making it easy for you to know when to charge it up. It'll start at a full bar with a green color, and as it gets to low, it'll pulse red, telling you to plug it in. The battery life on the Falcon is absolutely insane. I've been using it every single day for the past two weeks, working and gaming, and it's only gone down to 50%. Now, this says a lot about the Falcon. You're not gonna have to plug this in every single day or even every single week. With no RGBs on, you're going to get 450 hours of battery life. And with all the RGBs on, you're going to get 53 hours of battery life. So the battery life in the Falcon is definitely not going to disappoint you and you're not going to have to compromise here. These features really set the Falcon apart from the pack and make it a keyboard we don't see very often. Remember this cover? This is another cool addition by Asus to the Falcon. You can use it to cover the keyboard when you step away from your desk or when you travel with it to protect it from dust or anything hanging out in the bottom of your backpack. It has these four rubber feet so you can always use it to sit the Falcon in it to bring it up a bit higher and make it a high profile keyboard without it slipping around. They also made a cutout for the touch bar on the side and one on the back for the power button and the USB port. So they really thought of everything when they designed it to help you not lose any of the functionality. It also looks really nice with this shiny metallic ROG design and helps diffuse the lights on the side more evenly. The back of the keyboard has a convenient slot for you to store your USB dongle on the go and it charges through USB-C which is just awesome. Most other gaming keyboards from big companies still use micro USB and it's really nice to see that the Falcon is going to be future proof and you're not going to be making any compromises here. So the Falcon really does bring a lot of new features to the table that we really haven't seen from the competition. You know, the battery indicator, the touch bar, the dust cover, these are all new things that we don't see in this category and that's why I really really like the Falcon. The Falcon features PBT keycaps, but this isn't the best quality PBT I've seen around. The HyperX Origin 60 and the Huntsman TE I reviewed recently use a thicker double shot PBT, but at least they didn't use the cheap ABS keycaps I really hate. The keycaps have a slight grainy texture and look matte with no shine, so I think they will hold up just fine. The font used here is definitely a gamer aggressive font, just like everything else you see from ROG. 
Now whether this is good or bad is gonna differ from one person to another. I personally really like the font, I think it's neat and futuristic. They also have branding on the spacebar and the escape key that is a bit aggressive as well. So because this is a 65% keyboard, some keys like the function keys are missing, but that doesn't mean you can't use them anyway. You'll see a lot of the missing keys printed right there on the side for you, so you'll have to combine the function key with the key you want to use. And if we get under the keycaps, the Falcon is using the Cherry MX Red linear switches. These are your standard linear switch with a 2mm actuation and 4mm to bottom out. They have a really good speed and because they are linear, they are on the quieter side and have no bump per click. The thing I didn't like about this particular unit that I have is the switches do feel kind of scratchy. It's gotten a bit better with the keys I most use like the WASD, but most of the keys still don't feel as smooth as I'd like them to be. The Cherry MX Reds are known to be scratchy sometimes, so it would be nice to see if Asus can put their own optical switch in here. I hear that they may use their RX switches soon, so let's see what happens with the future versions. But I think the switches feel good regardless on not every unit is going to feel scratchy. Now I'm a big fan of linear switches and Cherry MX Reds are a very popular option so it makes sense that Aces opted to use them in the first version of the Falcon. Alright, let's do a sound test so you guys can listen for yourself to how the Falcon sounds. The RGB lighting on the Falcon is exactly what we would expect from a big company like Asus. I think it looks excellent and the colors look really nice, shining through the keycaps and diffusing beautifully onto the top aluminum plate and off of the sides. And it looks even better with the floating design that the keys use here, it really makes it stand out on the desk. The lighting, touch bar, battery indicator and macros can all be programmed through the Asus Armory Crate software. Now, I'm gonna be honest, this is not my favorite software and it's not as easy or intuitive to use as Razer Synapse or Logitech's and HyperX's softwares. But I think it does get the job done. You can choose different lighting patterns for the lighting zones on the Falcon, as well as program the side touch bar to different functions to give you a very personalized experience. All right, with all the nitty gritty out of the way, let's talk about how this thing performs in real life. The Falcon is an excellent productivity and work keyboard. I found that the switches are quiet enough and the typing experience is very accurate and satisfying. I don't find keys actuating when I didn't mean for them to and the wireless capability makes it easy for me to switch between devices or take it out of the way altogether when I don't need it. I like the low profile because it keeps my wrist comfortable as I type or play for long hours. The compact size looks really good on my desk and helped me achieve a cleaner looking setup with absolutely no wires in sight. Now for gaming, the Falcon is really just fine. I didn't notice any input lag or slowness, so the wireless performance is excellent and as good as any high-end wireless mouse. The switches are also just okay. They are definitely not the fastest and took me a bit of adjustment from the blistering fast Huntsman Tournament Edition. But that's not to take away from this keyboard. I thought it's excellent for gaming and once I adjusted to its speed, I really enjoyed playing on it. Also, the small size allows you to pull your mouse pad closer in, giving you more mousing space and control while you play. So overall, I think this is a special keyboard and it's a really easy recommendation from me. I mean, with all the new innovations we spoke about, USB-C, excellent wireless performance and long battery life, this thing checks off every single box to be the ultimate gaming keyboard. And priced at $150, I think this is really reasonable in comparison to its competition which I think is the Logitech G915 TKL keyboard. That one is priced at $240, comes with an older micro USB charging port and cheaper ABS plastic keycaps. So I think it's a no competition here. And I think that is everything for the Asus ROG Falcon. Thank you guys so much for watching this review. If you enjoyed this video, do not forget to smash that like button as well as subscribe with notifications on. This is the best way for you guys to keep up with the video uploads as well as support the channel's growth. Have an awesome day and I'll see you guys next time.